What's up guys, the German here again and welcome to Football Manager Simulates. Today we have the second part of Mikael Soisalo's video and um, yeah, let's go to the game and let's see how things are going. Here we are and if we go to Premier League, we, we discover that Middlesbrough were 16th in league this year. City won the league, Arsenal second, Tottenham third. Manchester United 4th, West Ham surprisingly 5th, Chelsea 6th, Leicester, Liverpool, Southampton and so on. Surprisingly also Everton did drop down to the championship. But this is not what we are looking here for, we are looking here for Mikael Soisalo. So let's go in the Middlesbrough team and let's see key player Martin Oedegaard, so they have signed Let's see the transfer history. They have signed a lot of players. Erdegaard is one of his on loan, of course. And let's see is Mikael, yes, Mikael is on, uh, was on loan last year at South and United. Is South and in League 1 or League 2? It's a Skypad League 2 team and they were second in Skypad League 2. So really, really good loan spell, I hope. And here you can see Mikael's profile and unfortunately I haven't scouted the player so I, I don't see the attributes. attributes but that is something we should look out. He is also have played in the right hand side in the midfield so he's competent on accomplished on that position. But, but the more important thing is the history tab and the loan spell at South and United, 18 games, 6 goals, 2 player of the matches, 6.89 average rating, really really good loan spell at South and yet again let's go back his profile and let's see the stats, 1 game in FA Cup and 1 goal, really good, 2 dribbles on that game, 2 headers, 1 Shoot on target ratio 100%, headers won 67%, passes complete 50 and uh, 1 crosses completed, 7.10 average rating, really good FA Cup game, uh, do we, yet again we don't see the form there, which is bummer, uh, let's go back to the stats, 1 EFL Cup game, no goals or assist on that game two triples one headers one headers one percent is 100 passes completed radio is 52 on that game one crosses completed 6.2 average rating so not that good game that which was that FA Cup game and uh, English under 23s group one five games one sub appearances no goals there either 15 dribbles, 9 headers, 1 shoot on target radio, 50 headers, 1 radio, 60 passes completed, radios, 57 tacklers, 1 radio, 32 4 crosses, 1 tackle, 6.7 average rating decent, 5 games there and then there are UEFA, UEFA European Championship under 21 qualifying qualifying 1 game, 1 goal there Three dribbles, two cro uh, headers, one fifteen percent of shoot on target radio, sixty seven percent headers, one radio, fifty seven percent pass and completion. There, one crosses completed, seven point two average rating. Really good game. That also. So here, this five, six, seven, eight, nine games on that. So actually, he didn't. Did he play on? Ah, there is five non-competitive games, one sub appearances there, and he got seven and one sub appearances, one goal. So it's a bummer that we actually won't see his south end stats, because this shows only the games after that he have he had that loan spell on there. So. Hmm, that is a bummer that we won't see those games. 
But he got 18 games, 6 goals, 2 player of the match, 6.89 average rating at, at South and United, which is really good. How about his injuries? Nothing on there. One virus injury in December, only 8 days out. So, really healthy season, really good season, season all in all uh, in South and United. And uh, let's see his contract status. He still got that one year left, uh, actually two years left on his contract. So this is what this was actually the first full year in uh, in Middlesbrough. So uh, two years left left there, and uh, yes, I should probably scout him up. So we would we would see his stats stats properly, and uh, yet again, really good season for him. Uh, Another loan spell, hopefully he could break through to the Middlesbrough squad and uh, keep growing. Now he got 30 games and 10 goals on those two loan spells in League 2. So it's interesting to see what the third, uh, third season will bring him. And uh, yeah, leave comments below what do you think how he will do in the third season or into the second se full season going on in in England so yeah this is the uh, a little bit shorter version of this video so leave a like rating and subscribe for the channel for more videos and we will be back into the third part of this uh, FM, FM simulate series so stay tuned for that and we we'll see you in the next episode bye bye